Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are back with our zombie spider slash uh, ancient animal. I don't even know what to call us anymore, to be honest with you. I've kind of given up on calling things what they are in Tiny Town because... I don't know, it's like there's so many different things going on right now, it's kind of really hard for me to keep up with it. So if you recall last episode, which by the way, I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on that episode. It hit like 250,000 views pretty quick, it was pretty shocking. So anyways, we're going to be continuing this scene here today. Now one thing I need to point out, and I got it completely wrong last episode. I had this spider that was actually uh, webbing a person, and you know what Komodo? That's not how spiders work. Let's go ahead and turn that off. So the spiders, uh, they shoot web from the rear. Now, unfortunately, I cannot pose the spider, so I can't have it, like, forward with its, uh, I guess, behind. It's probably got an actual scientific term. Uh, poked out to where it's shooting it, so it's doing it backwards. So I wanted to make that correction real quick. So today, we're going to actually be using some pretty cool stuff. I think we're finally going to use the dinosaurs. So we're going to have, like, zombie dinosaurs, if that makes any bit of sense. So you got stuff like the T-Rex here. We got some, like, a uh, Diplo... Wait, where is this thing? Hold on. Re respawn it? Holy man, why are these so huge? All right, uh, let's get a little smaller here. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of dinosaurs. Let me stick that one in the mouth real quick. So, yeah, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be spawning in some dinosaurs. I've got some other creatures I need to spawn in. I know a lot of people have been trying to figure out why this is happening. There's been a, really a couple really good theories about what's going on here in Tiny Town. So, if you guys have any suggestions for future builds, or if you guys even have a clue what's happening here, what is causing all of this madness, comment below. Uh, if you missed the last episode, I'll flash it in the top right corner. And if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And I've got some building to do. Alright, so I'm starting to fill in some areas here. Uh, we're going to actually connect this to the racetrack. Uh, that means I really just need to fill in this area behind the uh, big robot baldy right there. So, essentially what's going to happen, I've had some people question, they were like, well, Komodo, if everything came from the museum, like, how the heck did the big spider get out? And my thought process is that the animals, the insects, everything's coming out of the museum. They're maybe going underground, like the spider lair over there, and they're growing as they feed, and they're turning people into zombies. So that's going to be my excuse to bring in dinosaurs here, because I can't tell you how many people have been asking, like, Komodo, use the dinosaurs. And I really like the dinosaur models, the only bad thing is, is you can't pose them, kind of like the spiders, so I'm going to have to be creative with how I use those models. So it's going to take a little bit of uh, figuring out, but I think we're going to use one over here. This seems like the perfect spot, like people are running from the spider, and all of a sudden there's like a T-Rex or something down the street. Oh, this is going to be great. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, uh, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and fill out some buildings here. And then we're going to get into the nitty gritty details with the uh, the different creatures and all of that. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, I finally filled in this area behind Baldy. I need to make some destroyed buildings over here. But what's going on right here? Uh, this is a construction company. So you've got cement trucks. You've got some dump trucks over here. Uh, we're going to have the uh, construction workers. They're going to be running. Actually, I might stick it on this side. I'm going to have the T-Rex in here. So say the T-Rex got out. It's going on a rampage through the streets. I think I'm going to have it coming down at them. So they're kind of getting cornered here. They're going to be running down this way. Basically running towards the big blue zombie spider. And probably I'll stick some zombies on the street here. And they're going to be running away from the T-Rex. All right. There is our T-Rex. So... It's going to be running down the street here. It's going to take me a second to add what I want to add detail-wise. I might give it green eyes here because of the whole fact that it's uh, like a mutated T-Rex. So maybe we'll go ahead, fill those in right there. There's one there. And then we're going to add one to the other side. All right, so this T-Rex I'm pretty sure is a little bigger than a normal T-Rex. But keep in mind, everything's kind of mutated here. So we're going to have construction workers running from it right now. You know, maybe it's going to be having a fight with another dinosaur. We could stick that on the other end. Uh, these guys are just trying to book it out of here. You know what? We got to put somebody in the mouth here. So we'll get this guy. He'll be all stuck in the mouth here. Oh, you know, I really, really wish we could close its mouth. 
Uh, that would look even better. But yeah, you've got a person in the mouth. Uh, hold on, I need to get another guy here, so we'll grab one out. We'll go ahead and have the uh, T-Rex all stomping around. It'll probably be kicking some cars around. Uh, it will be down here. So I'm pretty sure, like most things on this build, if you get a, uh, if you get bitten, you get mutated into a zombie. I'm pretty sure that's not the case with the T-Rex. Uh, if it bites you, you're probably gone. So we don't need to worry about turning. Uh, let's go ahead and get a construction vehicle. Maybe it'll be a, uh, it'll be tipping over one of the construction or one of the cement trucks here. There we go. You know, that looks pretty good there. So we need to add some more detail. You know, it probably crashed through a building back here on the back end. And maybe we'll add a fence to the back of the construction yard here. And maybe we'll use one of the buildings. We'll probably grab another office here and use it. All right, so what I'm doing here, we're adding rubble. I'm going to try to make it look like uh, this building has been squished here. Like the T-Rex ran through the fence, through the building, and is now chasing the construction workers through the uh, yard here. So I'm adding the rubble on each side, which I think that actually looks really good. I've got to somehow give this the illusion, though, that the building itself is kind of destroyed, too. I know it's a little awkward. It's going to take several layers, and I think I'm a, I might put some smoke or something in this and try to help with this uh, little destruction path here. It'll kind of camouflage the whole fact that the building's actually still a hole. But, yeah, that's going to totally work. Hold on, let's go ahead and put that down there. Uh, let me get some smoke, and we'll get some more rubble here. This T-Rex is going on a rampage right now. Or I should say, zombie T-Rex. Alright, so there is your little destruction path through the building. I think it looks pretty good, because you can't really tell that it's whole because of the smoke and dust uh, that the T-Rex ran through. Uh, you can see some people down, more debris all over the place. Uh, I think we should add, hmm, there needs to be something here towards the end of it. I feel like this area is empty. You know, it's probably going to be some more zombies coming down the street uh, from the museum. So, yeah, these construction workers, they're not in good shape right now. This is uh, not good for them at all. All right, there we go. I think we finished with the construction site. You can see zombies are inbound. There's debris, uh, some scaffolding. Uh, it kind of makes sense for a construction site. That's like the biggest wheelbarrow I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and shrink that down just a little bit. So yeah, they're just running away. And this guy, he's just pointing out like the whole fact that there's zombies coming too. So he's like, you know what? I would probably rather get stepped on by the T-Rex than get eaten alive. Or maybe even the Jaws. You know, that might be a quick way to go too. But regardless, I think I'm pretty happy with this section. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Alright, so for our next dinosaur, we have something that starts with the D. It's D-I-P-L-O-D-O-C-U-S. I'm terrible with any dinosaur name besides the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, by the way, we also need to grab this. Is this a Stegosaurus? Oh, it's a Triceratops. I don't know why I was thinking Stegosaurus. Oh, we could use this. These things uh, look pretty mean. Maybe they're going to be charging forward. So, I'm going to stick this over here. I know it's way too big at the moment. Uh, this is one of the... I'm, we're going to call it the long neck. Uh, we've got one right here. It's going to be stomping down the street. Now, one thing I, I don't want to forget here is that the whole fact that the spiders probably are moving way faster, I need to start adding them through here. Now, a big suggestion from one of the last episodes was... Komodo, you need uh, some web and stuff around the city. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do that, but we definitely need to start sprinkling some more spiders throughout this whole thing. That way we can uh, have them uh, almost have like a spider army or something. Okay, I'm adding some more details. I got an idea. So I'm thinking this thing is so large that it stepping on the road would probably partially break it up. So I've got that thing running down the road. I've already added some more spiders. I need to figure out what to do with the Triceratops. Maybe it's going to be charging uh, at a bus or something. That's actually not a bad idea for a scene. Let's go ahead and make this like... Eh, where do I want to stick him? Actually, I think he's going to go over here. We'll get him close to the spiders. I do think I need to have something fighting the uh, spiders. Maybe one of the dinosaurs is uh, tangling with one of them. Might go right there. Uh, one other detail I added here. I'll show you guys this. So, I'm keeping with the theme of the uh, the webbing coming out the rear end. So you can see these uh, spiders are pinning down. They're uh, capturing some more prey. I need a big web somewhere. It probably should be in the pit. I think I'm going to string up some web maybe on that tower back there. 
and then I'll maybe put some people up in it. Uh, they're saving them for later. So yeah, I've got that. Like I said, got the destruction here with the uh, the long neck going up the street. I don't know where it came from. That's the question. Uh, that might not be answered this episode, but it's there. It's heading up the street. All right, so we're going to go over our next set of things that we've done here. So I'm grabbing some people because I finally have a little bit of a spider web. I'm not really 100% sure if I'm happy with the way it came out. Uh, it's a little hard to do with the uh, given pieces in the game, but I think it looks decent. I'm going to say they probably took most people down into the, uh, the ground there from the last episode, but I think for the most part this will uh, this will kind of give the illusion that there's some people uh, stuck up here in this web. So I think this actually looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab one more here. And I'll kind of spread them out a little bit like they're uh, like they're just pinned in there. So we'll put one right there. There we go. All right. So we got some people in there. So another couple things that I've added. Uh, we'll go over here. We do have uh, the Triceratops taking out a bus here, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, these people are reacting to it. Unfortunately, above them, there is a spider coming down. Uh, added another little thing here. We have this uh, one guy. He's got an axe, and he's actually running it into the spider. That actually looks pretty awesome. I like that a lot. So you got that. Of course, you have the big long neck that's coming down the street. And I've added some more little details as far as people running around. Uh, some stuff along the street. So I, I feel like this street is actually pretty full now. All right, let me zoom out, and we'll see what we're going to work next. Alright, so we're pretty much on the outskirts of town by the uh, the racetrack, so I think I'm going to do a... I've done it only once. I had a mobile home park uh, in the, uh, the zombie apocalypse area, but I'm going to stick one more over here. So, let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's grab these. You know, I think very possible, which if I'm, I'm looking at the pattern here, maybe the T-Rex made a beeline through here and then cruised out back through here. So I need to add a destroyed fence over here and then went through the construction site. So it's like going on a, a T-Rex rampage. Uh, so what I'm gonna add, uh, let me go and find some more broken fence here. And then we'll, I'm gonna go in and add some park buildings. But I do think I have a couple in the zombie apocalypse. If they don't look too much like they're just overgrown, I might be able to use those uh, for some that have been destroyed. All right, so here is another little add-on that I've done. Uh, this is a mobile park, or mobile home park, I should say. Uh, you've got it in here where the T-Rex has run through the side, plowed through some trees, plowed over the back of a building, and then ran out the fence this way and continued its rampage. So I think it's pretty good. i got some detail in here. I don't think the spiders have quite made it to this area. Just look at this, actually. If you look up, look at all the chaos. I see a nuke, I see an airship going down, a Kraken way over there. You're by a Formula One track, there's Baldy, dinosaurs, and a big spider with a tsunami going behind it. You know, I still need to do that city tour. Uh, we're going to have one episode here really soon devoted to just a city tour because uh, I'm still getting a lot of requests for things that we've done before. So anyway, so you can see the destruction, uh, the house is on fire. Got some vehicles through here. Let's go ahead and zoom out. So this wouldn't be a Tiny Town episode without a famous character, which by the way, uh, this is all what we've done here today. So we got a pretty good section done. But you know what? Grandma, we had her over on the other side with too many guns. She's still in warrior mode. And Grandma is going to be facing off against a uh, spider up on this roof here. So as you can see with all the chaos behind her, Grandma is battling spiders up on this roof. Uh, you can see she's been a little bit busy. So you see the uh, chainsaw and the spider over here. You know what? Instead of grenades, Grandma carries uh, little snacks because you never know. I mean, Grandmas always have snacks. Like every time you go over to Grandma's house, it's like, hey, eat. So she's carrying that around. She's got an ax in her hand and she's about to face off against another spider. But I'm pretty sure she's gonna win here. This just looks so epic. So let's go ahead and zoom out one more time. So got quite a bit done here today. I think we're going to call this area about done. I do believe I'm going to build some more over here, but I think with the spider zombie theme and the dinosaurs, I think we did a pretty good job. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple things that I do have. I have some things I've downloaded from the workshop. Uh, we still have the tornado. We have Thor's hammer. It's called uh, the Stormbreaker. Uh, right here. That's pretty cool. Uh, a couple other things. I'm thinking about using this. Now, this is a portal. So, I think maybe we could stick that in the city. Maybe we'll have an alien attack. 
I've got some aliens, and one more thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to create another monster, so maybe you guys have some ideas for that, uh, because there's some monster, uh, I'm thinking about making like a junk monster, and just making out a bunch of parts that maybe it sucked up from the city, so we might be doing that here soon too, but really happy with this area, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on Tiny Town, you guys are absolutely amazing uh, with this series, but yeah, thank you guys for the love and support, and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town.